How clever is it to take this little prism, make it look like water is coming out of this fountain, and then what an awesome saying. The earth laughs in flowers. Awesome. There's this thing called a negative ions. It literally, <laughs> why are you laughing? You, like you know what you're talking about, but go ahead. <laughs> Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, and this is living the aquascape lifestyle. And this is Brian Helfrich, our uh, head of Chicagoland Construction, and we are at Frank Stumpanato's house in beautiful St. Charles, Illinois. And I have not seen this pond this season, but I've been here probably a hundred times. Frank, it, the garden it just continues to grow. Every year it looks nicer and nicer. We haven't cleaned this pond since the day we built it 15 years ago. Frank just takes care of it himself, and it's therapy for you, right? Yep, absolutely. So this pond was first put in, we had a monsoon rainstorm that came in. So after you guys had left, I had to drain the pond, clean it, and then refill the whole thing too. It just keeps going, and that's, what, and that's a good design. It just keeps drawing you out. Every time you turn a corner, there's more to see. house you said let's just do it right the first time and you mm -hmm. met with Brian and Brian yep. Brian you and Ed really designed this right yeah it was actually kind of cool too because as a build a pond day you had a lot of uh, other guys that actually came out during pandemonium exactly what's cool about that though is it's a it, it, it was so barren then compared to it's yes. a jungle right now it was really kind of cool too because a lot of the neighbors who didn't know me quite then they thought I was absolutely nuts because there's all this rock uh, next door my uh, the house oh, next yeah. door wasn't yeah. there so yeah. we dumped all the rock over there what's fun for me about seeing these old pictures and re didn't even remember that we did it as a build a pond day because advanced build a pond day here for yep. pandemonium is uh, when you put in a water feature it really changes the it changes everything about the dynamic and you had this now for 15 years at this yep. house yep. And, and literally, I can't even, I don't even think you could imagine this yard and this house without this pond. No, it's always been that way. These are aqua blue boulders, and I love working with these aqua blue boulders. It's just a really neat, interesting stone. There's all kinds of neat angles and stuff you can play off of them. Often we can get a little bit more creative than we can with uh, granite boulders, which tend to be round. Not that we don't love our granite boulders, but aqua blues are just fun. Very few people use them though, because the cost of the stone kind of expensive. I always tell people stone is free all over the country, but you pay to get it to where you gotta get it from. And these are coming from Northern Wisconsin, and it's expensive to get them. Not only is it expensive to get the stone because of the shipping distance, but the stone is extremely dense, which means you get less pieces per ton. So when I have a project like this and I need 30 tons of stone, I'm gonna get um, less coverage out of that 30 tons of stone than I would out of like granite or moss rock or something else. It's also a quarried stone, so it's coming deep from the ground and they have to blast. And sometimes you even see the old drill marks from the stone. If you look down here, here's one of those pieces you can see this hole in it, this perfect hole. That's where the miners drilled into the stone to place their dynamite and then blew this stuff up to create all of these other pieces. You've got one here. Here he's actually tried to disguise it, but this little rock, well, he's got it wedged in there pretty good, but it's hiding that drill mark. Sometimes we show that stuff off because it's a fun story. Other times we try to hide it, especially when it's right next to a waterfall. Oh, look at up this one here. So here we've got two, two drill marks right next to each other on a piece of stone that probably weighs a good 400 pounds. 
we're sitting in a pond that is in over 80% shade with giant mature oak trees surrounding the thing. And to me, a pond in a shade garden has a much more relaxed, comfortable feel than a pond in full sun. Now, is there benefits to a pond in full sun over a pond in full shade? Absolutely. Is there a benefits to a pond in full shade over full sun? Absolutely. The best place for a pond is, like I said before, wherever it looks best from the main viewing area. And look at this pond, how incredible it is. Frank is a very meticulous man. He's planted every one of these plants in this. We have never cleaned this pond. He's done his own clean out every year. A water feature is as much work as somebody wants it to be. If you don't want to mess with anything, then don't mess with anything. Let the ecosystem take care of itself. Pond to be this old and the landscape to be so like clean and, and organized uh -huh. and stuff. Like you can tell you're out here, not just weeding and stuff, but pruning and. Yeah. And this is a labor of love. You love your garden. Yep. This is therapy for you. You're a mortgage banker. You've got yep. a pretty stressful job. You're yep. dealing with a lot of paperwork all day long. Yep. You just come here and time's got to just escape yep. itself. What would you recommend to somebody that's thinking about getting a water feature? Because a lot of people that watch this channel, Frank, aren't 20, you know, year plus experienced pond owners. What would you say? What would be a couple tips? Basically, what you want to do is have it as, as close to a deck, as close to the house as possible to thoroughly enjoy it to see the fish. I think a lot of times what people do is they'll put it off to the side like they're trying to hide it, and it's not really what you want to do. What I love about this though is when you go from the inside of the house and you look out, look at the windows. Everything faces. You look down into the pond from up here. I guarantee you every morning you wake up, you look down and see what's going on yep. with the fish in your pond. The other neat thing about it too is you, you have a lot of uh, dapple sunlight that kind of shines in the house that over the ceiling was kind of cool. And my office is actually below, it's a below level now, so just the windows open and, and all, this and all that sound. Yep. It looks spectacular. And for me, what's so fun about this is seeing how this evolves. I mean, Frank and I have known each other forever. Every year I come back here and every year there's, there's new plants growing, there's new fish like you yep. were just talking about. Yep. It's a labor of love, it's a hobby and it's something to be enjoyed and it's something that is is, is not normal, and that's what I love about it. I love the fact that anybody, literally 100% of the people that walk into this yard are gonna talk about this. Yep. You know, for me, this product was literally like the, the clouds parted and a beam of sunlight yep. came down because this little, simple little unit that you keep it, was it at one right now? Yep. Okay. Well, I actually have at 10. Okay, so you, you adjust it based on how much algae is in mm -hmm. there, right? Yep. Explain how that works because people don't know about the ion gen. Basically, the ion gen is a probe that is actually wired directly into the, uh, the hose uh, that comes out to the waterfalls mm -hmm. and it kind of flows through two copper probes and it just adds enough uh, copper to keep the string algae. Yep. So I usually adjust it like if, if we know it's going to be really hot, really sunny, sometimes algae will grow uh, more so as the water warms up and then you know in fall you just basically turn it down. Uh, so I probably replace the probe maybe twice a year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's I, a big pond in, too. Yeah. So uh, Once that, a year is normal, a pond this big twice yeah, a year. Yeah. yeah. I love the fact that they're readily available. You can get them online, you can go to the store, whatever. It's a little things that make big differences and so the whole goal with every product that we do at aquascape is to improve the consumer's experience so here's a guy who's for 20 years had a water feature before we, you had it before we invented the string algae buster yep. string algae buster would get rid of the string algae and then the ion gen gets rid of it now electronically right yep. outstanding yep.
it's so fun just to see how it matures and grows and, and how every customer makes it their own, right? And you have definitely made it your own and I love all the combination of different hostas and ligularia. We built him a 30 foot tall blue spruce tree and he decorated ornately with all the plants. Absolutely, I yeah. mean, it's, it's, a, it's a gorgeous pot, but you have taken it to a level that I wouldn't have visualized. I love the hidden pathway that goes yep. back and through there. There's even an urn yep. that you discover as you yep. walk through That's there. That's why we like to say each water feature is a unique work of art, one of a kind custom creation. The process to build them remains the same, but everyone is lovingly different. Everyone is unique. Every stone is different. Every setting is different. So each water feature is unique and different. And this is just a spectacular, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. My favorite part about, about this is how it just spreads out through the whole backyard. Literally the entire length of your home has water with every window you look out. So it's the view from inside that's my favorite. What about yours? Well, absolutely. I like, well, I like the aqua blues. I think, you know, there's only a small, small group of people that have aqua blue boulders in their in their yard. Um, and here it works perfect. I don't yep. think any other rock would have worked as well mm -hmm. in your yard as the aqua blues do. Or the one thing you wish you would have done different, make that waterfall taller, yep. we should do that. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us what your favorite part of this water feature is. I mean, it's truly a spectacular water feature. Let yep. us know what it is and then follow along for these vlogs. Check on the subscribe button up here. Check out the videos below and follow along as we live the aquascape lifestyle with our customers. God, I love my job. <laughs>